Hello and welcome to another update video about Nia. Nia is just trending sideways here at the moment, um, pretty much still in line with previous updates and forecasts. We haven't taken out a previous swing high. We haven't broken below a previous swing low. So we continue to be in this consolidation or correction. It's clearly corrective price action still. And um, my interpretation is that we're still in this wave four. Okay, so that's uh, the idea that we also discussed in previous videos. The idea is obviously that a wave four could turn into a triangle pattern. That's the blue scenario, the blue count. Such a triangle is, as per Elliott wave, an A, B, C, D, E structure in which an A wave already bottomed. We had a B wave rally. What we're doing now could be a C wave. Then we could get a D and an E. But it's important that this triangle pattern is characterized by lower highs and higher lows. An elite wave triangle um, should see the price break to the upside. And what we see here should be obviously this kind of wave four triangle, which should then result in a rally. A breakout from a triangle is typically quite aggressive, quite strong, quite swift. So if, you know, unless we see that, it's probably something different. Um, also, the triangle pattern is technically not yet complete, so there should still be some more, yeah, there should still be some more sideways behavior, or we are not in a triangle. The thing is, I don't, I'm not leaning towards a triangle typically until I see further evidence because triangles are extremely rare. At least Elliott wave triangles, so triangles that are defined by Elliott wave rules and guidelines are quite rare and in crypto extremely, extremely rare. Obviously, anybody who's using like traditional technical analysis would call everything that has a bit of a contracting or two contracting trend lines um, a triangle. But it's not always the case, right? Uh, we know that in crypto, these pure triangles are very rare. What happens is if it's something looks like a triangle, it could turn into a WXY structure, a more complex correction. And at the moment, I have a, wa a wave down, then a lower high, and at the moment a higher low, but it's, we don't even have a low yet. So um, so it's not even a low. So, you know, I don't have enough substance for a triangle. So I'm leaning towards yellow count. As per previous updates, the ideal target for a fourth wave is the 38.2 retracement. That's at $5.45. It's not only because it's a 38.2 retracement, it's also because the 100% extension level of the A wave so in this move down, we have an ABC structure and the A wave um, can be measured and then compared to the length of the C wave. And that gives us the ideal projection here for this ABC pattern. So at the moment, you know, this is probably what it's doing. And I would only change my perspective unless we really see more waves that would represent a triangle. Or um, if we see a break above this last swing high, which is at $8.10, okay? Until then, my preference is the yellow count. I always say the micro count isn't so important in corrections. It's likely gonna morph. It's likely gonna change. It always happens in corrections. That's uh, common. Elite Wave basically tells us, oops, we are in a correction. Be careful, you know, the micro count is gonna change. It's not so much about the micro count. It's more about understanding what the relevant support levels are. And they are very clearly defined support is defined between $4.68, which is the 50% retracement, and uh, $6.60, which is the 23.6 FIP retracement. And as long as we are basically not breaking below $4.68, the overall bullish thesis on this chart remains valid. What do I mean with that? Well, it means basically one more high is still a reasonable interpretation as long as we're holding $4.68. Only a break below $4.68 would indicate that something more bearish is going on. Maybe that a more substantial top has formed. But there's literally no evidence for that at this stage. I'm leaning to the idea that we go a little lower as per the yellow count and then should possibly around 542, because that's the 100% extension level of the A wave. Yeah, possibly see a bit of a reaction there. Yeah. So I think the support level should be clear. I think what we haven't answered what is the first indication that the fifth wave to the upside, which would be the next upside wave, has started? And what would be a target? Well, first indication, I think I touched on that, uh, first indication that we are moving higher would be a break above that B wave high at yeah, basically 
followed by a break above $8.96 that would confirm it, or let's call it $9. Upside targets, next upside target at $11.38 and $11.80. I can specify the target for the fifth wave a little bit more precisely once I have a low in place in this wave four. So you see, nothing really changed, not even the microstructure has changed, support levels still stand firm, and the overall short-term bullish thesis is still alive for NIA. So yeah, that's my update about NIA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.